Hello and welcome everyone. In this episode we'll be staying on Abbey Farm in Norfolk and we will explore the campsite and we will explore the local area. Ben's back people, living the dream, not caring about the wicked world. I'm on a campsite called Abbey Farm and you know what? I absolutely love it. There's uh, there's only five pitches on this field and then there's one other pitch. So there's a lot of empty space and then behind me there, there is a fishing pond. A pond and apparently there's some Kersian carp in it. And uh, a little boat he said I can take out, so I might have to do that later because that absolutely looks fantastic. But I am absolutely loving this little site. I might turn the van around later on so I can get a better view of the church over there. Check this out, definitely getting in that boat later. I had a day planned of going out to um, Castle Acre and showing you around there on the push bike. He said a six miles away, but to be honest with you, I think I'm just going to pot her out on this campsite because I'm really liking it. There's some walks over there, out in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, I might take you to Castle Laker tomorrow on the way back, on the way home, pass through it. I might stay here today and have a relaxing day on this site because I am loving it. I can see some fish, fish there. <clears throat> Fantastic. This is one of them sites that I know I'm going to enjoy. I think these are all caravans that are just being stored for someone. They're not actually in operation. But yeah, five pitches on that field. So we've got a lot of space each. No one else is here at the minute. Everyone's out. There's an empty pitch next to me. So I'm assuming they'll turn up at some point. But yeah, right by this pond. I've got to check my fishing gear. I really hope I've got enough to, to stick a rod out. Uh, so this probably ain't going to be the, the video I planned. This is good, might be a more relaxing one. We'll see. But yeah, church from the van and there's like an abbey ruins near the house. Right. Obviously it's their house, I'm not going to get too close and start filming there. So there's one toilet and one shower. You have to pay a pound for the shower. There is chemical disposable for toilets as well. So yeah, every pitch seems to have its own tap. Um, and I've got a hose pipe as well as a tap. Every pitch has the option of electric. Uh, I've turned it down, I don't need it. Now, that is a bit of a funny one because for me on here without electric is 15 pound, which is great. And I'm well happy with that. Right in the middle of the countryside, it is a working farm. But to have electric is 25 pound. So £10 for electric, which, now that is quite steep, but it's a nice site and, you know, for £25 for an electric hookup pitch is what you would pay nowadays. £15 for me without electric here, yeah, I'm happy with it. Right in the middle of work and farm. Horses everywhere, sheep everywhere, you know. This is one of them ones where you can bring your horse as well. Yeah, if you've got a horse, you can bring it. Oh, good Ben is pleased. There's also fire pits everywhere. You can see these fire pits scattered about. Now, he, he did ask if I wanted a fire. So I'm assuming you have to buy the firewood from them, but that's obviously an option. You can have a fire out here. Now I'm assuming you have to use his fire pits maybe. But, I mean, they're, they're good fire pits, they're well off the ground, so why why wouldn't you want to use his, not your own? So yeah, I decided to turn around so that I could look at the church through the door. Now, I can't really see much of the church through the door. <laughs> uh, so, but never mind. I'm not moving again because, you know, they're going to be watching me thinking, what is this idiot doing? Why can't he just get set up? And, you know, I can't be one of them people. In Sandringham, packing up and I've ripped all my foil. All this high quality gear falling apart. 
Ugh. Looks like it's going to have to be replaced. Bogger Ben don't like spending money. We're doing it, people. We're going on the little boat. I'm all excited. Come on then, let's take you with me. <laughs> I'm loving it. This is fantastic. I mean, I feel like a little kid again. People are probably watching me thinking, look at this idiot. He's about 40, what's he doing? But this is fantastic, this little boat. And I can see plenty of fish about here as well. So uh, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna see if I have got enough fishing gear. And I am gonna give it a go. Now, he did say I could lure fish it as well, because I think I might have some sea fishing lure and he seemed like fairly okay with what I could fish it with basically pretty much anything so that's good so uh, get the old mackerel feathers out <laughs> he said there might be eels in here there's Kersian carp um, I think he said some other stuff I can't remember but yeah love and life the child in me is out today oh this is fantastic yeah I had a whole day planned of biking to Castle Acre but you know what, I just, I don't know if I'm going to bother. I'm really happy just being on this site. No one else is here at the minute either, it's great. Obviously there are other people set up, so I'm assuming they're out for the day. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to come back and I'm, I might try and fish this if I've got the gear. And in the evening, when the sun starts to set, if there's no kids here in this bit, you know, then I might get on this boat again and come out here and have a few beers or have, have some whiskey, I've got some whiskey and have a few drinks out here on this boat but we'll see, there might be kids here by then trying to have fun ruining it for me unfortunately <laughs> but yeah, I'm loving it, this is fantastic this is my kind of site I love sites like this, a working farm, nice little independent site it's blooming fantastic I'm having the time of my life here What a gem of a campsite this is. Yeah. Uh. Jesus, look at people. Things just got real. Could this be the end for Bongo Ben? Dun dun dun. Oi. Do one. Obviously I'd feel a bit of a moron and a bit of a muppet if there were a lot of other campers about, but they're in. Just Bogger Ben on his own, in a pond, in a boat, on a campsite, loving life, living the dream. Well people, we have a rod, we have a reel, we have a tin of sweet corn, we have some little ledges and some hooks. Let's see what we can do. Well, we're doing it people, got the rod all set up. Not really the perfect setup, but it'll do for what I had. And I even found some ground bait, so yeah. I might wait and see where the boat stops and then put some ground bait out. It's going to be hard to film, so I don't know how good the film's going to be because obviously I'm in a boat with my hands tied. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Literally just put the camera down and got a bite. So they're nibbling about. I'm going to catch a fish very soon. I've got one. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Straight in, straight in, less than a minute. Look at that. Oh, right, well, I'm going to have to put the camera down to unhook him because I don't want to get hooked. But look at him, what a little beaut. <laughs> Check out that absolute unit of a fish. What a beast, people. Look at it. Look at that, he's huge, absolutely enormous. Right, let's get him back. Get him there. Uh, whoop. <laughs> Fantastic. Go on, buddy. Off you go. 
I mean, this is just incredible. They're literally taking it as soon as it hits the water, they're after it. Look at this, look. There we are. Just gone in. See, they're hitting it already. <laughs> Unbelievable. Never have I had so much luck in fishing. I've been doing this less than five minutes. I caught two. I mean, there's not much. Most people would probably be bored of this site. All there is is this little pond. But I'm loving it. <laughs> That's all I need. A little pond, a little boat and some fish. Well away. Absolutely loving it. I probably will go for a walk later. Check things out. They're starting to get bigger. <laughs> Come on, back you go, little fella. Think we have the biggest one yet. They're getting bigger. Yeah, it's not a bad size. There's a bloody grass snake over there. I've, I've kept hearing rustling around in here. There he goes. Probably can't see him. An actual grass snake swimming across here. That is fantastic. I wish I could roll the boat faster to get to him, but I can't. There's only one panel, that's not really great. Hmm, nice big shower block full-size shower. Oh, this isn't the toilet, this is a private room. <laughs> toilet is here. <laughs> Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Washing machine. He said anything in here you can use. Washing machine, bin, sink, kettle, fridge, what might be a freezer, and a microwave. And some information sheets, which I will look at. Yeah, very good. I've never come across this before. Toilet seat covers. <laughs> They're obviously tampon bags, and I'm just a bit of a moron. It clicked about an hour later. <laughs> and the light switches are there. Yeah, kind of in a barn, but perfectly fine. Sometimes they have eggs for sale, huh? So yeah, after spending about five hours around that little lake, in the boat and doing some fish and I think maybe I should actually get out and explore because that's normally what I do so yeah let's go and have a look see if we can get to Castle Laker um, it will the visitor centre will be closed but I have a feeling that we can actually get into the ruins without paying and go through the visitor centre fingers crossed people Well, after all that time spent by the pond, I was still able to make it down to Castle Acre. So yeah, it's a big old priory. Yeah, maybe I'll Google some useful information about it and write it at the bottom of the screen. Because right now I don't know anything about it. I've been here before, ironically, but I'm a bit of a moron. So it don't look like there is a gate where you can get into the ground. No. Obviously I could literally just hop over here, but there are people about, someone just walked past me and I have been in there before. So there's no real advantage for me to go in there just to show you. And to be honest with you, the best view is probably here because you, you can sort of get everything in, in the frame. So yeah, I think there's a castle over that way in the village. I'll go and have a look at that as well. Yeah, so this is the castle, 
and the castle is free to roam around so win a winner. Stopped off to have a look at the church next to the campsite and look at that door. Looks like someone was on the booze when he done that. <laughs> so nothing exciting today I'm afraid. Some mushrooms, some broccoli and some pork mince. I'm afraid as they didn't have anything exciting. So I've got to say this is surprisingly boss. I don't normally have pork mince. Um, I got it because it's cheap but yeah really good. I put some steak seasoning on it and some soy sauce and uh, yeah very good might be added to the list normally I don't go for stuff white meats because I don't want to get ill in the van when I've undercooked them well I don't know about going to the pond for the sunset because all the trees are going to be in the way there won't really be anything to see from the pond not to mention the midges are going to be absolutely crazy so I might just head off for a walk so I just took a path on the campsite and uh, yeah, there's loads of open walking land. That's, that's great. Um, I've got to be a bit careful though because I was speaking to a woman there and she was saying she was in this bit the other day and uh, she got chased out by the bull and there is a sign saying bull in field. So I best keep my eyes peeled. Probably not the best time to sort of stop and have a few drinks, but hey, what do you do? There's whiskey in the jar, people. Yeah, and um, I love campsites like this. It's like a working farm, you know. I mean, it's, I'm having a great time here. I genuinely love this campsite. This is the kind of campsite I that are for me, you know. I don't want glamping. This is this is what camping is, you know. Being on a farm, it's great. Yeah, I'm I'm really loving it. I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I really like the pond. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get up early and. Uh, go out on that boat and do a bit more fishing what a fantastic evening fantastic people oh, yeah so I mean I already know that I would definitely stay on this campsite again unless something drastic happens in the night um, yeah I would definitely return I'm, I'm loving it I love the little pond haven't mentioned that yet have I but I do love the pond uh, you know the fact that you can fish it as well and that there's loads of walks and cycle routes around here that's great you know, one cubicle for man and woman yeah that would probably be a bit annoying I guess if I had to use that but I don't so I don't care and it's not like a huge site that's packed full of people so all good people all good we're living the dream drinking some whiskey so I looked into the campsite about a week ago and it was only to this morning when I went to book and I looked in and it said about the pond and that it can be fished. And uh, yeah, winner winner. Catching fish in there, I mean, shooting fish in a barrel. I mean, I think this is the first time I've ever arrived on a campsite and thought, right, let's enjoy the campsite. Normally I just arrive I unpack, I get everything sorted and I'm gone. This time I, I was here for about four or five hours before I even went out for a bike ride, you know, and that's not like me. This is definitely my favorite campsite I've ever stayed on in Norfolk by a long shot. Now if anyone has any idea of what better ones there are in Norfolk, let me know, because I'll go check them out. But this is my personal favorite so far in Norfolk. Not my favorite full stop, but my favourite in Norfolk, yes, we have a winner. 
So there is a house over there, and there's a bloke there getting in his car, wondering who the hell I'm talking to. <laughs> My best friends in the whole friggin' world, that's who. Well, we've got to have a beer as well, haven't we? Gotta be dumb. Gotta end the night with a beer. Well, it ain't really the end for me, because I've got some more whiskey to drink. But, uh, I've got some more walking about. Ah, oh, blimey now. Got some more walking around here to do, but it's going to get too dark and the camera's not going to pick anything up. So yeah, I slept okay last night. Uh, I'm going to pack up in a minute and then uh, get back on the pond. <laughs> yeah. This is a great site. It's great for if you want to come out and just get away from it all. Uh, I mean, the closest tourist attraction is Castle Acre, which is six miles away. Um, the closest shop that I know of is in Gayton and that is two miles away. Um, but just behind, I went for a walk in the fields out behind the campsite. Loads of walking trails out there. So, you know, this is a fantastic getaway holiday. To You know, you'd come here if you wanted to get away from it all. There's a lot, you know, a lot of walking, a lot of cycling. I don't know where the nearest bus stop is. I would assume it's in Gayton, but I do not know. Now, obviously, if you're a keen fisherman, you're going to be disappointed in the pond. You know, you're not going to come down here and find Jeremy Wade is here casting out some lure. That ain't going to happen. Um, but just two miles away is Narbra Trout Lake. So you can go fish that. And the River Nar is quite close, or within Narbra. Um, now, I don't know whether you can trout fish that. I did see a trout in it on the way to Castle Acre when I passed a little ford. But whether or not you can fish that without a permit, I do not know. But, you know, you have got Narbra Trout Lakes nearby, and I have been there as a kid. And they work good. So, yeah, I would definitely stay here again. Um, you know, there's a lot of good views around the campsite, so it's a great campsite to just sit here and have an open fire. Well, I decided to stop off at the Priory on the way back, Castle Lake of Priory, and have a look around. Unfortunately, there's a lot of school kids here though, ruining it for everybody. Never mind, is what it is. I went out on the boat for a couple of hours. Um, I thought I'd better not go out there too long because yesterday when I got back and I was in the van at night, my eyesight looking out the window was all funny and it felt like I was still on a boat rocking around in the van, so, so yeah. Yeah, 10 quid to get in, which isn't too bad really, it's quite big ruins. Uh, it's English Heritage, so if you're an English Heritage member, then obviously it's free. But yeah, that's it people, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll show you some clips of me walking around here or some clips of this. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you did like it. Thank you. Bogger Ben out.